Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In today's class, we are going to talk about few basic indicators and how exactly you can automate them on TradingView. In TradingView, you can automate one indicator or combination of two indicators without any coding knowledge. I am going to teach you how to automate price action, one indicator and two indicator based setup and how exactly you can take advantage of the system. So let's dive into my screen and learn how to create alerts and automate one and two indicator based systems. All right, so this is my trading view chart and on trading view, I have reliance chart plotted. This is a five minutes reliance chart and the market is live. On trading view, I can set alerts based upon one indicator or up to two indicators without any coding knowledge. And also I can automate trades based upon price action. We are going to explore all of them as we go ahead in this lesson. To begin with, we will learn to automate setups based upon one indicator. So let us say to begin with, I can select an indicator like super trend. Now when I select super trend, this is how super trend setup looks like. On super trend, you have a red color line that indicates market is going to go down and there's a green color line that indicates market is going to go up. So whenever market is going down and if the red color line converts into green color line it indicates that now the downtrend is over and market can go upwards similarly when the market is going up like this and when the green color line turns into red color it indicates that market can potentially go down sometimes the system works very well and sometimes the system does not work very well it is up to you so if you're comfortable you can automate the system or you can find out your own system to begin with, I am going to show you how to automate this super trend that I am seeing on the chart. To automate this super trend, it is very simple. All I have to do is right click on the chart. The moment I right click on the chart, there is an option called as add alert. So whenever we create alert, these alerts will get triggered and when these alerts will get triggered, the trades can be automated. So I'll just click on alert and when I click on alert, there is first option called as condition. So these alerts that we are creating are called as conditional alert or condition based alert because we are going to give a condition to trading view and when that condition will become true, the alert will be triggered. Now in condition, I have reliance that is the underlying and in the drop down, I also have super trend. The reason I'm able to see super trend here is because super trend is plotted on the chart. If I would have plotted any other indicator that would have also been visible here. For now, my condition for super trend is very simple. Whenever reliance crosses above, whenever reliance is crossing above super trend, I want to take a buy signal. So reliance crossing up super trend and I want to do it at the candle close. So there are four options only once means as soon as reliance goes above super trend it will trigger the signal once per bar that means for every candle where reliance is above super trend we will get alert once per bar close means whenever five minutes candle of reliance will close above super trend then the trade will be triggered and once per minute basically means if the condition is met then it will be creating alert per minute for now i will select once per bar close that means i want to take trade only once and also after the candle completes this reason i am selecting once per bar close is to ensure that the signal is non repainting in nature we have learnt about repainting and non repainting nature of indicators in our previous class so carrying that lesson here i am selecting once per bar close now when i when i click on once per bar close other options here are till what time i want the alert to be active if i select open end it means this alert will stay for infinite period that means if not today if not tomorrow whenever the condition is triggered that day the trade will be triggered now open ended feature is available only in the highest version of trading view plan that is a premium plan since i have this premium feature i have an option to select on open ended but if you don't have an option to select open ended don't worry you can select an expiration time here generally expiration time is usually by default set for one month from the day of signal generation 
टूडे इज सिक्स ऑफ डिसम्बर एंड दिस एक्सपायरेशन टाइम बाई डिफॉल्ट इज गिवन एज सिक्स ऑफ जनवरी हाव एवर सिंस आई एम ऑन अ प्रीमियम सब्सक्रिप्शन आई एल प्रिफर ओपन एंडेड नाउ नेक्स्ट वेन द अलर्ट इज ट्रिगर्ड you can get the notification on app you can install the app second you can get it notified on the web platform that is this chrome or you can also command trading view to send that alert on your email so that even if you are not active on the trading view app or on the web based platform the alert will come to your mobile app you can even use third party tools to automate using webhook url we are going to talk about webhook url as we go ahead for now i am just going to deselect this so this way you can create an alert on super trend and at the bottom you can write the alert name for example i can mention this as super trend buy on reliance and click on create the moment i create the alert that alert will be visible in this alert section this is an alert section if i click on this alert section you will see the alert created by me super trend buy on reliance is visible and it is active that means whenever super trend will give me a buy signal this alert is going to be and when the alert will be triggered the log will be created in alert log for now super trend buy is active on similar lines i can create super trend sell command and also right click click on add alert reliance crossing down super trend once per bar close and then in the alert name i can create alert as say super trend short on reliance and simply click on create the moment i click on create you will see there is one more alert created here whose name is super trend short on reliance the moment i hover on these alerts the detail of the alerts are visible you can see the moment i have hovered on the alert on my left hand side the entire details are here reliance 5 minutes chart crossing down super trend 10 and 3 factor is active and it is created on 6th of december 127 and 9 second now this way you can create multiple alerts and whenever these alerts will generate entries or exit signal you will get notified on your mobile app or email or also on your web based platform not only super trend you can create alerts on multiple other indicators now super trend as we know is an upper indicator if i want to create an alert on lower indicator i can absolutely do that just by going to indicators and select any type of lower indicator let us say maybe rsi the moment i click on rsi you will see there is rsi that is relative strength index i'm just going to select that and you will see it is plotted on the chart now if i want to create alert based upon rsi i can absolutely do that for example let us say if i want to sell, uh, create alert on rsi but not on a 5 minutes chart let us say this time i want to create it on a 15 minutes chart i can change the time frame let us say i'll go to 15 minutes time frame now reliance chart super trend and rsi all are plotted on a 15 minutes chart however the alerts created for super trend were on 5 minutes chart represented by 5m written here so irrespective of my time frame on the chart the super trend will still generate entries and exits on 5 minutes chart itself that means once the alert is created i can change the time frame parameters of indicators and do absolutely anything it will still not affect my original alerts created now i have rsi on the lower chart and super trend on the upper chart i'll write right click on the chart again and click on add alert now when i drop down on the condition you will see i have two indicators that is super trend and rsi rsi because we have plotted rsi on the chart now my condition to buy would be whenever rsi goes below 20 i want to buy before we do that you can see that super trend has created a buy signal on reliance on a 5 minutes chart and the alert has triggered So now I can click on okay and you will see this alert is visible in the alert log as well. Moving ahead in the condition for RSI let us say my condition as I said would be whenever RSI goes below 20 I want to take a buy signal. It is very simple to write this condition. All I have to do is in the condition select RSI RSI crossing down if it goes below or you can also say when RSI is less than. However I'll just select 
crossing down the value in the value i'll write 2020 and i'll say once per bar close again to avoid the repainting nature i'll select 20 once per bar close and say rsi buy and click on create the moment i do this reliance buy is created on a 15 minutes chart and also notice for your display reference trading view has plotted this orange dotted line so this orange dotted line is your trigger whenever rsi will go below this orange dotted line a buy signal would be triggered similarly to create a short signal based upon rsi i'll right click click on add alert and say rsi 14 if it crosses above the value of say 85 i want to buy and again when i can write here let us say maybe rsi short when it goes above 85 i want to short again i'll select once per bar close and here i'm just going to give a name as rsi short and click on create the moment i do this one more rsi short alert is created and at 85 levels again one more orange dotted line is visible on the chart that means whenever rsi goes above 85 a short signal would be generated and whenever rsi goes below 20 a buy signal would be generated so this way you can play around with upper indicator and lower indicators and create alert without even knowing any coding language next if i have more than one indicator and if i want to create alert based upon more than one indicator i can absolutely do that for example on my upper chart i already have super trend now i can draw one more upper indicator maybe say vwap just for reference and this is how vwap chart looks like in vwap chart i'll just go to settings and in the settings we have band multipliers i'm just going to unselect band multipliers so that only one line is plotted now you will see vwap is represented in blue color line and super trend is basically represented in red and green color line i'm just going to minimize this chart for the better reference let us say if i have a condition where whenever vwap is going above super trend i want to buy and whenever vwap is going below super trend i want to short if i have such criteria then i can even auto automate that so all i am doing here is showcasing you how to generate conditional alerts for two indicators those two indicators can be absolutely anything so i am just going to right click and click on add alert now in the condition you will see there is reliance super trend vwap and rsi now i want to make sure that i want to create a buy signal based upon vwap and super trend so first reference would be vwap that means whenever vwap would cross above super trend once per bar close then i want to generate a buy so i will write buy vwap plus st for my reference and click on create and you will see alert is created based upon the combination of vwap and super trend so this way you can create absolutely any type of alerts for up to two indicators you, but you cannot create alerts which includes more than two indicators because if i go to add alerts again you will see in the conditions we have only three lines one where you can select one indicator let us say it can be super trend and in the third box you can select the second indicator so up to two indicators can be selected but if you want to select more than two indicators it is possible on trading view but you will need to know how to code on trading view i am going to teach you that also as we go ahead in our upcoming lessons but for now if you don't want to learn coding and if you have simple setups that can be automated here however if you have complex logics and if you want to automate those complicated logics we will help you write the code in the pine script and we can develop it for you to get your codes developed mail us your requirement to code code at algo algo fox dot in code at the rate algo fox dot you can send us your requirement along with your mobile number our team will get in touch with you and we will help you create your own setup no matter how complicated it is all right so this is about how two indicator based setup can be very easily plotted so far we have learned how to create alerts based upon one upper indicator one lower indicator and two upper indicator Similarly, Similarly, you can even create alert based upon two lower indicators as well. And apart from that, the another way in which you can create alert is based upon price action setups. To showcase you how to create alerts based upon price action setup, I am just going to remove all the drawings here and make the chart simple. Now let us say this is my simple chart on a 15 minutes chart 
and if i want to create alert based upon certain trend line i can do that to do that i'll simply click on this trend line and let us say try to plot a trend line something like this right so let us say this is my trend line that i have plotted and let us say i feel that this is a downtrend and whenever the, this trend line will be broken and if the candle closes above this trend line i can consider to buy if this is my requirement i can zoom in a little bit for more clarity i can create an alert based upon this trend line as well to do that i'll just click on this trend line and i'll get this alert option here i'll click on this add alert and when i click on this add alert again the conditions will be visible here in the condition i can say whenever reliance is crossing up that is crossing above the trend line and closing above the trend line to mention closing above the trend line i'll select once per bar close and that's it i can say reliance buy based upon trend line and click on create now you will see the reliance trend line based setup is active the advantage of setting up trend line based alert is that i can even play around with these levels and whenever i change these levels accordingly the trend line levels in the alert will also change for example if i make the trend line as something like this now in the back end the alert has also been changed now whenever reliance will go and hit this mark only then the alert will be created so you can play around with the trend line even after the alert is created and any change that you make after alert creation will still impact your entries and exits to showcase you i'm just going to bring the trend line very very close to the ltp and keep it there now we will see that whenever candle closes above this trend line the trade will be immediately triggered so i'm just going to bring it even closer and keep it there as such similarly not only trend line apart from trend line we can have alerts based upon any other concept for example let us say here in the tool section we have pitchfork fib retracement gan box and many other tools to showcase you one more setup i'm just going to select fib retracement and i'm just going to select fib retracement from top to bottom and i'm just going to drag them so these are our fibonacci levels now based upon these fibonacci levels all right so before we go ahead you can see that super trend has generated a short on a 5 minute chart of reliance and the alert was triggered so at 330 we got a super trend buy at 340 we got a super trend short on a 5 minutes chart all right moving ahead now here we have fibonacci and on fibonacci we have plotted some reference lines now if i consider these lines as my demand zone and supply zone, Zones, i can even create alerts based upon these zones for example i want to short whenever reliance touches this red color line if this is my requirement i can go to this trend line tools select a horizontal line and make sure i'm plotting it exactly at these levels now this is a green color horizontal line that i've plotted i can click on the add alert on this horizontal line and say whenever reliance is crossing up this horizontal line i want to short and the alert name will be select, let us say reliance short and click on create and one more alert is now created where whenever reliance goes above this horizontal line i will be able to short so this way you can create absolutely any type of trend line based horizontal line based or any other tool based alerts also this is how you create alerts based upon one indicator two indicator and price action setup now the next thing that we are going to discuss here is how to automate these setups to automate these setups you can use our web based platform algofox algofox seamlessly connects with trading view and even if you are a trader who does not know any coding language it is relatively very very easy for you to use use our platform and automate the trades i'll just show you by logging into my algofox terminal i'll just go to trade.algofox.in if you are new to algofox and if you want to take trial of our platform the link is in the description you can check out the link and you can sign up for a one week trial and you can explore our algofox platform free of cost now i'm just going to log in into my user this is my user and in the user i have have three modes there is paper mode auto mode and semi mode paper mode is for virtual trading auto mode is for fully automated trading with my preferred broker so if i select auto mode the orders from trading view will be executed in my preferred indian brokers 
or crypto exchange and if i click on semi mode whenever trading is generating alert i'll get a notification on my mobile if i approve the notification the trade will be executed into my broker terminal to begin with i'm just going to help you with paper trading mode if you want to learn how to use algo fox and what are its features there is a detailed separate playlist on our youtube channel you can check out the features and user guide of algo fox on our channel now i'll skip all the other settings and i'll simply go to trading view integration because all the other settings as i said can be learned in our youtube playlist i'm just going to go to trade settings in the trade settings there are keys in the key we have trading view code trading view strategy alert data and trading view conditional alert data remember in the beginning of this lesson i said that whatever alerts we are creating are all called as conditional alert and for conditional alert we simply have to copy the conditional alert data simply click on this copy button here you have to click on this copy button here come back to reliance chart and here if you want to automate your setups you can simply click create alerts with the copied message to do that currently i am going to take some other stock let us say maybe dlf and click on dlf all right so this is my dlf chart and on dlf chart i am simply going to select a horizontal line horizontal line is just for your reference as i said you can select absolutely any indicator now based upon this horizontal line if i want to automate the trades i'm just going to select this horizontal line click on add alert say whenever dlf is crossing down this horizontal line only once and now to connect this trading view with algo fox okay before we do that there is a super trend buy on reliance again i'm just simply going to click on okay and reliance super trend buy is visible in my alert log all right moving ahead again coming back to the dlf chart now to connect dlf or any other setup on trading view with our platform algo fox you have to select webhook url again webhook url is not available in free version of trading view if you have pro pro plus or premium any of these trading view subscription then webhook url is uh, available for you in the webhook url we have to add a url but before we add that we have copied a message of conditional alert data and that message has to be added in the message section as it is remember if you don't add this message in the trading view your alerts will not be triggered and then as i said we have to add a webhook url let us go back to algo fox in algo fox again let's go back to trade settings in the keys you have tv webhook in front of conditional alert data there is a tv webhook option just click on this webhook url come back to trading view and simply paste the url here just in these two steps you have connected trading view with algo fox now whenever trading view would generate signal those will be executed into your algo fox paper mode or auto mode depending upon what mode you have selected now here in the message section we have this json format where there is exchange close ticker and then there is order type of buy if the order type is buy buy signal will be generated if the order type is sell sell signal will be generated if it is short short signal will be generated and if it is cover cover signal would be generated again similarly you can select product type instrument type quantity strategy tag and code code is a unique encrypted key that helps you connect with your algo fox account every user has their unique code if the code is not written properly here the alerts from trading view will not travel to your algo fox terminal on dlf my condition is whenever dlf is crossing down horizontal line i want to short so to do that in this message all i have to do is remove this buy and just write short that's it replace buy with short let us say i want to have intraday mis if i want to take a cnc position i can replace mis with cnc similarly if i want to take trades in futures or options i can replace eq with future or options also we will do all of that as we go ahead right now this is a simple alert on dlf and i can simply click on create the moment i click on create you will see an alert is created however i forgot to mention the name of the alert if i forgot to do anything i can simply click on this edit scroll down and write the alert name i'll write dlf auto and simply click on save now you will see that dlf auto alert is active irrespective of whatever is the alert name json format is very important so when i hover on this dlf auto you will see the json format is properly mentioned in the box here and all the conditions and my alert created date is also visible
so whenever alerts would be generated the trades will automatically execute now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete all the alerts that we have created so far and we are going to create a fresh alert from scratch which will actually go to the algofox terminal and automate the trade so this this will give you a fair idea of how automation works with algofox we'll just keep the horizontal dlf alert active whenever dlf goes below this horizontal line automated trades will execute but if you want to set up based upon indicator just like let us say moving average it's absolutely possible we'll just go to moving average and to stimulate the alert i'm just going to go to a very small time frame maybe say on a one minute chart this is how one minute chart of dlf looks like and i'm simply going to right click on dlf click on add alert and here i'm just going to say whenever dlf is crossing up moving average only once and webhook is already added up here and in the message i simply have to copy this conditional alert data and simply paste it here and i can write the name as dlf auto ema and everything else remains the same and i can simply click on create now whenever dlf will go above the blue color ema the trade will be automatically generated alert will be triggered and algofox will automatically execute the trade on similar lines i can even create a short signal i can simply go to add alert go to again same dlf crossing down moving average and again paste the same message but in this message by default the buy command is written i have to replace buy command with short command and you will see that dlf auto em is already triggered i'll simply click on ok come here and check dlf is triggered in the order log you will see dlf from trading view has generated a signal in the paper trading mode and in the net position you will see dlf share is open mis order of dlf is open where pnl is right now minus 19 rupees 20 paisa and even in the paper trading mode mtm keeps fluctuating here so you can check out how much profit or loss you are making in virtual currency as well now going back to dlf i'm just creating a dlf for short so i'll just write dlf short and one more thing to notice here is that whenever you're creating alerts based upon indicators instead of only once you always have to select once per bar close because if you don't select bar close your signal can repaint so i'll just i'm just going to select once per bar close and click on create and the alert is created on a one minute chart now we're just going to wait for the alert to be triggered and whenever the alert will be triggered the trade will be automatically executed into my paper mode now one thing that you have to understand here is that whenever you are using conditional alerts so you have to create conditions based upon certain price action or certain indicators so this conditional alerts gives you limited options so you cannot set dynamic targets you cannot set dynamic stop losses you cannot set trailing stop losses or you cannot set targets or stop losses based upon some other indicators to do all of that you will need to learn pine scripting or you have to get them developed from some pine script developers now as i said if you have any setup our set of developers can develop it for you you can mail us your requirement to code at algofox.in in my next lesson i am going to show you how strategy Strategical alerts can be created, what kind of templates can be coded on TradingView and how you can automate advanced setups. In this lesson, we have just learned how to automate basic setups where targets and stop loss cannot be automated. However, in my next lesson, I am just going to show you even more advanced setup where target, stop loss, risk reward, trailing stop loss, intraday, positional mode, all of them can be fully automated. Before completing this lesson, we have have one more alert of dlf short and it got executed into our algofox terminal so that's it for today in next lesson we are going to explore even more advanced concepts so see you in the next lesson